you know, I was reading um, Deuteronomy, and I came across Deuteronomy 8:18, 8, um, and it says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth you the power to get wealth, so that he can establish his covenant with you that he swore to your ancestors. But the verse before that says that when you get what you have, remember, remember that when you get what you already have, don't forget I, I'm the one that gave it to you. And so many of us, we have a lot. We are very wealthy in this country compared to other countries, but yet we sit back and we murmur and complain about what we don't have and what we can't do. But God has put the power in your hand. You can do something. Look, you can do something. You can make something. You can bake a cookie. Look, I, I'm telling you from experience, I know this lady, she built a whole ministry by selling apples. So look, don't make excuses. Get busy. Find you a side hustle, make, bake a cookie, bake a cake, look, paint a picture, find something because God will bless it if you lift it up to him and it, and it will glorify him. He will bless it. He will give you the power to get wealth so he can say, look, what I said to your ancestors is true and I'm going to do it through you. Oh God, thank you today. So Father, we bless you and we thank you because you give us wisdom. You give us the ability to get wealth because you want to show yourself strong and establish your covenant with us. You are the covenant keeping God. So help us to stop making excuses about what we don't have and look at what we have. If we have to sell a vitamins in a Ziploc bag one at a time so that we you can establish your covenant with us, we're going to pray over it and bless it and thank you for the advancement in our lives. And we are not going to complain in Jesus name.